uh, when you have to sell in the streets to pay school fees, you wake up at five to go deliver bread that you cooked at night in a, a wooden oven outside, okay, then you know what is the poverty. And you pay school with that, okay? And um, growing in this kind of, uh, of family, everything, everybody tells you, don't dream. But you know what? When you face it, then you find the solution. Then you think, then you say, okay, if I cannot have here, I cannot have here, you know what? I can have it here. What is that one thing that kept you moving that you decided not to stop? You know what is fancy, funny is those guys. They are the ones who's keeping me doing it. Because I have a career. I can go back. I, I've been HR director. I can go back to work. But what about them? It's so difficult for them to get a job today. So for me, when I'm tired, I just remember that I have 12 people. They have no choice than to work here. So I keep on going. You know what I'm here to do today? I am here to meet a strong, amazing African woman who is actually helping to make a change in Congo. Like I said, help me change that narrative. And I cannot do everything by myself. And that is why I am here today. You know what you need to do for me? Like this video, subscribe, and be part of this awesome family. And stay tuned, yeah? In Congo, they don't even have beer, you know, all they drink is water and all their waters, I don't even know what is going on. Every water has a foreign name. Please, if you are Congolese watching this video, I really want to ask a question. Why is it that everything in Congo has a foreign name, even water to drink? We need to decolonize that mindset. Thank you. But come with me. I, I, I hope she's not using uh, a, an European name in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't do the video. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know that you are actually one of the people that really put in Congo on the map? Okay. <laughs> because I got to Congo and everyone is telling me you need to find money to Congo. And it led me here. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Uh, I, there's only one question I want to ask here. Mm -hmm. Money tech. What does money tech mean? Oh, this is funny because money tech means uh, manioc technology. Oh, it okay. means all the technology around cassava. But you're not doing cassava. No. <laughs> 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 no, it's because it's uh, I, I give honor to my mom. Oh, my okay. mom is a PhD and uh, she had been working on cassava for all her life. Okay. And uh, this is the, my way to say thank you, mama, for everything that you have done. I only have one problem, that's why I mm. asked you this question. I've been in Congo for like two weeks and mm. anytime I walk in the street of Congo, I want to buy water because I love supporting local people. Mm -hmm. But even buying water in Congo, it's written Canadian water. <laughs> it's written American water to written like um, switch something something water so i thought like it's something in congo for you to celebrate any, anything european is it made in congo or they just wanted to put yeah. that in? yeah maybe i think it's uh, in the mindset and we are really trying hard to give uh, to change that mindset uh, for a long time in drc uh, i don't know for the other african country but in drc people were, were thinking thinking that when you consume something that is imported something that had been done by white men then it's good Whatever is done by us is not good. And you know, this is even why I, I created the company. When I was 16, I had that crazy idea to say that, okay, everything that is important is beautiful. This is what fancy people they have, mm. and rich people they have. And what is local is not good. This is what we have, <laughs> the poor people. And I was like, okay, why not we, as Congolese, we change that. We do our own food, our local things, but in a good manner, okay? Wow. So we can have also the good things. So poor, rich, we have Everybody. nice things. So uh, that was my idea in the beginning, and this is also one of the reasons why we have uh, Money Tech. It's hard because up to today, we still have that bias. 
uh, Congolese consuming made in uh, Congo jam. Mm -hmm. Are they consuming it? They do. They do. They do. Yeah. And are the stores accepting that uh, uh, Manitech um, jam is here to stay? Uh, we still have some problems because up to today, I still have some people saying, yeah, it's local, I don't trust the quality. This is why we, made, we make a very big accent on the quality, on the quality of the service, of the product itself, the cleanness of the, the factory. We, we really want to show that we can be Congolese, African, black. And yes, we are human, like the white guys. Well, we are what, all human. Do you do you export <laughs> money to Congo? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Do you plan to export it? I would like to, but we have we have a lot of problems locally, and that those problems doesn't depend on me. So it's the, more the, government's the, the, problem. The, the, the problem locally is um, the fact that Congolese don't want to accept that money tech is made in Congo, and they have to consume it. first year of Manitech, a lot of people they thought that it was important. Yeah, yeah. Congolese uh, foreigners, people was thinking that it was important and it's my competition. We are only two uh, women doing uh, uh, gem in this country. Okay, they, they, there are some others, huh? yeah. but the big, big, we are only two. And uh, it's my competition who told me, you know what, if you want to change that, you better put some African pattern on your product because people are keeping on thinking that it's important. It's important. So <laughs> you know, we are here to stay. That is real, thank you. but we need to convince uh, people. Put the camera on me, man. <laughs> he, she's saying that Money Tech Congo is here to stay. And I also want to cement that. It's time for each and everyone out there. If you are Congolese and watching this video, do me a favor. Please like this video and then share this video. Because before I leave this country, I want to make sure that every store needs to have the Money Tech uh, Congo Jam. It's time for us to change that mindset that everything that is made in Africa is not good. If you don't start embracing yourself, no one will start embracing you. I mean, we need to start changing that mindset. It, it's everywhere in Africa. Go to that shopping mall, go to that supermarket, and go get yourself a Congolese jam. Thank you. My name is Sivi Malukisa. I'm a Congolese, and uh, I'm uh, the owner, the founder, and the managing director for Manitech Congo. Uh, Manitech Congo, which is a, a, a factory. We make actually jam, we make sauce, we make peanut butter. And uh, I'm a biotechnologist. I've been learning um, especially how to transform uh, food and how to conserve it. So I, I was planning already to have uh, this factory when in my young age. Uh, I have also a, a, a career in the HR field. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, which is very funny because when you have a, a um, diploma in uh, science and then boom, six years after I was the HR director. So yeah, uh, today I'm representing also the um, Tony Lumelu Foundation in DRC. Oh wow. Yes. I'm the, the, the head of the, the, the foundation uh, in DRC. You're more like a yeah. powerhouse. Uh, I won't say that, but <laughs> yeah, something like that, yes. I really want to know how it all started. I mean, mm. everybody's talking about Manitech Congo right now, but definitely Manitech Congo has a story. Was yeah. it that easy starting up a Manitech? Uh -uh. It was uh, very difficult in a personal level, as a per as me myself as a person, because I had to grow. To you know, to be entrepreneur is not that fancy as people think. There is a lot of work that you do with yourself to grow and to become this entrepreneur. Okay, uh, it's the kind of mission, and uh, there is also a lot of work that was to be done on the product itself. You know, I'm a scientist. I didn't. Uh, I know how to create my product, but the marketing level, how to build the brand, I didn't know about about that. Then uh, the other problem is how to cope with the country, with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. 
so it was a very long work to get here to make the story short mm -hmm. uh, the story starts with a young girl 16 uh, in Kisangani it's a town in the north of the country okay. uh, where when you want to have a chicken to eat you have to to run after the chicken <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have the boys in the, the the neighborhood looking at you and laughing and uh, then I was like no 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 this is not fair why when I want my own food I have to go for the the, the, the ant it's not possible the other people they go to the fancy supermarkets they get the chicken that is imported why are we not doing our own chicken the same way and uh, i decided that uh, this is what i will do and uh, thanks god i have the, one of the amazing mom in the earth my mm. mom marie mm. claire andrews she's a phd mm. as i said earlier and she had been working in how to do to industrialize the process of producing cassava products all the cassava products and uh, I was telling her mom one day I will make money from your science <laughs> <laughs> and she will go like uh, I should take a, a and shoes this, this is what and I did. <laughs> As a typical African mom <laughs> yes because I was like talking nonsense yeah. and uh, even today she's so proud when she comes here she's so proud that I made it to our, our dream of her and me mm. and uh, then I had to face the truth the reality and the reality is when you are a black woman African not only any black African one Congolese one coming from a I will say not the poor I don't want to use that word but this is actually was our life uh, when you have to sell in the streets to pay school fees you wake up at five to go deliver bread that you cooked at night in a, a wooden oven outside okay then you know what is the poverty growing in this kind of uh, of family everything everybody tells you don't dream don't dream you cannot make it to a factory you cannot create and build a factory you can at least have a job in the factory <laughs> but you can't create one for yourself you cannot because no one will give you money and uh, then you start facing that yeah no one gives you money your family they say you're crazy i'm not gonna throw my money your friends they are like you so they are not they, are, <laughs> they don't have money anyway <laughs> Uh, you go to the bank, forget it. Woman, black, African, and whatever, forget it. Then you look at the government, and then you go and you say, okay. Then you say, I'm alone. But you know what? When you face it, then you find the solution. Then you think, then you say, okay, if I cannot have here, I cannot have here. You know what? I can have it here. extra effort to learn eventually I've been hired as a, a clerk in a small company I made a double effort to learn to get to the PA of the managing director then I become the PA to one another managing director in a multinational then he was so happy with me he gave me everything I was like the other managing director in the company that makes lead led me to HR director Wow. Okay, then when you are HR director, you have the money and you have the knowledge because you had been working how to become an executive. And this is what an entrepreneur is, an executive. I've been learning, I get a little money of my, in my career to start now the first phase that was the, try, uh, the trying phase of the company. And from there things came one by one, one by one, then we grow up to here. That is so inspiring. <laughs> uh, I, I, I really want to know, yeah, starting this whole factory, this is your first ever factory? This is the first ever factory and we are here for two months only. And this is the first and production of papaya jam. Whoa! <laughs> In the factory. <laughs> so so I, I just want to know, how long has Manitech been in existence? Uh, seven, eight, eight years. But you've been here for two months. 
So where was the yeah. factory in the first place? Uh, in my kitchen. <laughs> At home. <laughs> The big factory, the big money tech that everybody are dreaming about. And you know there are people they just want to kill me. They say you have so much money, you have, you have a big... It was in my kitchen. This is what happens when you love something and you put your mind in it and you put your heart in it and then you start building the brain. And the brand is what people they buy. They buy the idea, they buy that Congolese dream of doing something that is so Congolese that there's no something outside. Our people are Congolese, the knowledge is Congolese. We, before we, we, we put the product on the, 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 the market, we spent an entire year for the scientific research. Even up to today, we are keeping on doing scientific research about how to improve the brand, to improve the product. So we, this is what we sell, the local knowledge made simple and delicious. delicious. And people, they buy it because we are true. We are not lying. We are not faking it. This is what we are and this is what we sell. How does it feel like, um, I mean, where you are right now, how does it make you feel? Crying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I came drawing. from far. I know we still have a long, long way, way to go, go, but we really came from far. We had only one pot. When we, we are inside, I will tell you, we start with one pot, one ridiculous pot to cook our jam. But today we have big steel, uh, stand, stand still, stainless stainless steel. Stainless steel. We have big stainless steel. We have even copper pots for uh, our gem and good quality copper pots for our gem. We have so many uh, uh, gas, um, gas uh, cook, to, that's cooker, that's yes. Yeah. And uh, we have, today we have uh, 13 people working here. So we came from far. I've seen that, you're, you're, I've seen only one man working here, which means you're still empowering no, there women. Are, there are, uh, we have four. Four. Uh, five, five. For but women. the women are more than the oh, men. Oh yes, women are more. You're yeah, trying to empower more women. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes. goodness! You know what? Yeah. I, I want you to take me around, and I'll ask you my next mm. questions. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Here we do the papaya. We clean them. Okay. Okay. We clean them up. Uh, then we remove all the dust and the dirtiness and everything. Then we bring it to this machine. Okay. To grind it. Okay. Then from here we are going to make the jam. And uh, here, this is our table. Oh, okay. Our table for uh, labeling. Labeling. So we do the label here. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, I've seen the cylinders that you're talking about and all of yes. that. That big cylinder actually yeah. is for the roasting of uh, peanuts. Oh, roasting of peanuts. Yes. That's and amazing. this is where we cook our jam. With, uh, we use the copper pot. Mm. Okay. Yes. That's guarantee right the, the taste and the, the structure of the, the jam. Yeah. Okay. How does it feel like being a um, a female entrepreneur in Africa. How does it feel like? It feels good because you know women in Africa are mainly very strong. Okay, this we know the, the black woman is just powerful and uh, it's we don't have limit. And being one of the tribe makes me proud. And uh, to say that in the powerful. Uh, group of my sisters I'm one of them you know <laughs> which means which means that you definitely have uh, a message for so many yes. young female entrepreneurs yes. that are watching us right now yes if you have something to tell them what will it be you are from a powerful uh, uh, ancestors you are powerful so don't be scared of deploying open your your, your imagination and you can do anything you can do anything. But you know, some of them tells me that there are no opportunities in Africa. Uh, this is not true. There is opportunities everywhere. There is opportunity everywhere. Look, look, look. This is an opportunity, okay? You can transform those grain 
into uh, cosmetics. You can transform those grains into uh, medicine for headache. This is opportunity. There is opportunity everywhere in Africa. The business of somebody can be your opportunity because you can bring something to that person to resolve one problem that person has. I cannot resolve everything. I have some problems in my business that can be resolved by another business. So, and you know what? As long as one people, one person creates one business, it means there is opportunity for 10 others to come to give again for them inside. You know, I, I have a problem, you know, when I came in here, I, I felt like there is no collaboration among entrepreneurs in this country. I mean, people are not too open to others. So how would they know that there is opportunity in something like this? Because they're not open. Uh, people today, what we do, us mm -hmm. who think that there is opportunity for people, they, we talk. We go out there, we talk. And uh, for example, when I'm doing my deliveries, I use another entrepreneur's company. I don't do deliveries myself. Uh, to clean my, uh, my, my waste, uh, uh, is that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, my waste, it's another entrepreneur. It's a young entrepreneur, uh, Cedric, who comes with his company. They come, they pick them up. They go, uh, they make, um, um, you know those things that black that you cook with? The charcoal. The charcoal. Okay. He's making out of this. You see, we are entrepreneurs with entrepreneurs. Some of our fruits are, are, are um, provided by entrepreneurs, Nicholas. not only by the mama in the market, but I love the mama in the market. Uh, oh, you, that's where you get your... Yes, they're so nice fruit. with me. Oh. I spend time with them, we, and they are so strong and yeah. so resilient that the, my bad days, I go in the market, I sit on the floor with those women, and they can tell you how strong they are. They face things that you cannot even imagine. imagine. Then they are still there laughing. Then you come back and you say, okay, my sister, pardon. Stop doing so lazy. Stand up and go there and fight again. You see? So I love the mamas. <laughs> I, I, you know what, I'm so emotional right now that I feel yeah. like asking you so many questions. Um, what is the plan for Money Tech in the next five years? What is the, what is the goal, the dream for the Money Tech in the, is, in the next five uh, years? The dream is to develop this, and God willing, we are going to take also the next spot. You know, this is the one door. We have a neighbor. I want to take the neighbor also to make Money Tech bigger. So this is my prayer. This is what I wrote to God. He said, this is my order. I want the neighbor place. You know what? <laughs> In for... five years when you come back, yeah. you'll find there. And you know, this one will be my office. <laughs> so I will take the neighbor there also. <laughs> you know what? Um, for us to make this dream come true, do me a favor, yeah? Share this video. You see, I, I really want, I, I wish we can start a sporting because I have people all over the world and mm. i want to make sure like you know i'm just gonna put your number yeah yes. and it's by force you know my my people yes. it's by force i don't beg them to support you it's mm. by force for them to support you so okay. make sure you get ready because they're all gonna tell you that please wanted you to export to uk usa and the rest so get ready. ready just get ready <laughs> you know what you need to do for me it's by force contact the numbers on your screen buy in large quantity and when you're buying it Tell her that it's because of what Amaya. So I have to do this. You know, this is why we are a family, right? I want to know at what age did you make your first jump? Nine years. <laughs> Nine years? <laughs> yes. How? Nine years. Because what happened? We didn't have money for a jam. We were not poor, but we didn't have money. And I told my mom, I want jam also because I sit to my friend's house. Then she said, you have to make it yourself. She said, get me the papayas and I will show you how to do it. Then I went uh, outside, climbed in a papaya tree. I got the papayas and I brought and I told, <laughs> and we have a lemon uh, tree hmm. behind our, our house. I went there, I took the lemon from our tree and she gave me sugar. And then we made the jam. Since then, I never buy jam. Definitely, there have been challenges since you started this. 
What, yeah. what has been that major challenge that you faced? Equipment, to acquire equipment. You know those uh, pot, they are the best quality. Mm. Yeah, one of the best quality, okay? Mm. But they are so expensive. Oh. So even when I, I used to say, leave me with my copper pot, with some packagings, and take everything. Come five years after, you will find again another factor. What is that one thing that kept you moving that you decided not to stop? You know what is fancy, funny is those guys. They are the ones who's keeping me doing it. Because I have a career. I can go back. I, I've been HR director. I can go back to work. But what about them? It's so difficult for them to get a job today. So for me, when I'm tired, I just remember that I have 12 people, they have no choice than to work here. So I keep on going. So, and you know what? This special series, we are going to name it after you. Hey! Only those two. So it's going to be sold special. Hey, the see. special one. Special one, yeah? If you are in Congo right now, let me show you where to get. Manitech Wadamaya jam, yeah? <laughs> it will be only uh, something like five pods. Five pods, yeah? It, Please. It will be five. Wow. And we are going to sell it, how you say, to the most high price. <laughs> the most high giver. <laughs> so it will be you, those. You have to pay more money to get it. I, I'm going to put her number right there. If you have uh, one thing to change about Africa, yeah? What will it be? The mindset. Only that. Let's come back to the mindset of the pride, you know, the proud Africans, the one who were doing, fighting for their land, the one who didn't want to go for slavery, the one who fought so hard that they prefer to be killed or to kill themselves to get the freedom of, the, of thinking, the mindset. We are human and we can make this continent very big. Okay, the mindset. I want to say thank you so much for talking to thank me you. and I really appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you.